Hi students, welcome to the problem solving session on KVL and KCL. Let us see this problem. Find V naught and the power absorbed by dependent source. So where is V naught? This is V naught. We have to find this. And the power absorbed. This is a dependent source. Power absorbed by this dependent source. Okay. So if I want power absorbed, this is a current source, uh, dependent current source. So first I have to find V naught, then only I can get a I value from I from V we can find power. So we try to find V naught. Let us take this node. Let us assume voltage at this point is uh, something V. Okay. Otherwise we apply KCL at node V. Right. So here what is incoming current? It is V naught by four. Right. And here this current is 10 ampere and uh, this current is uh, 2V naught. So that is equal to 0. If you simplify what you get is V naught is equal to minus 4.44 volt. Right? So I applied KCL. Apply KCL at node V. So uh, I is equal to V by R, so V naught by 4, here V10, here 2 V naught. So this is V naught, right? So V naught we got. So what is the current source value, dependent current source value? Dependent current source value is 2 V naught. So 2 into minus 4.44, that is equal to minus 8.8, right? So this is what current. So we got uh, I value. We have to find voltage across this term. Then only we can get a V is equal uh, P is equal to V into I. I we got. This is current dependent. You see, this is current source. Dependent current source. V naught value I found. From that I get this one I. Okay. So now I want uh, voltage across this term. That is here to here. Right. So, what is the voltage across? Voltage across this terminal is nothing but voltage across here because all are in the same voltage. So, I write uh, P is equal to V into I. So, I is this one. What is that? I, I is uh, minus 8.88. This is what our I. Okay. But what about V? V is, I think, uh, voltage across this step. So let us assume current flowing through this is I. So what is the current flowing through this? We know that it is V naught by 4. Yes or no? That's what we have obtained. So total distance is 6 plus 4, 10. This is R into I. R into I is V. I is nothing but V naught by 4. Clear or not? So, P is equal to V into I. Uh, here, this voltage is equal to this voltage. So, I want, uh, if I want uh, voltage across this terminal, I find voltage across this terminal that is given by uh, I into V. V is nothing but I into R. So, R is 10. I is V know already. Uh, v naught by 4. Clear or not? So that is what V I. If you simplify, what do you get? This P is equal to 98.75 watts. For this V naught, you substitute uh, minus 4.44 volt value. So what we get is P is equal to 98.75 watts. Next problem: Find uh, voltage, current, and power associated with the 20 kilo ohm in the circuit shown in figure. So I have to find what is I value, what is V here, what is P here, right? Okay, so first we find what is V naught, from that only we can find everything because the source is here, dependent source is here. So first V naught, V naught is equal to, this is I, I into 10K. So I is 5 milliampere. I into 10 power minus 3, I into R, 10K, 10 into 10 power 3, so it is. 50 volt. 
V not 50 volt means what about dependent 7 volt is current source value? Uh, I is equal to here 0 0.01 into V naught. V naught is 50. So it is 0.5 ampere. So here 0.5 ampere is coming. Okay. So in that, how much current goes here? How much current goes here? So totally 25 kilo ohm. It is one part, it is four part. So one part, four part means four part of current flow flows here, one part of current flows here, right? Yes or no? Total 25 kilo ohm. This is one, it is one is to four ratio, right? This is one is to four ratio. So here resistance is more, so that much part will flow less. So 0.5 I divide into one part and four part, so it will be equal to 0.1 comma 0.4. Here four part more recent, so here point one only will come. Point one ampere. Here one part recent, so more current will flow. That is remaining current will flow. So point four ampere. Otherwise, you use the current divider rule and find it. Right? That is not an issue. So here I found what is the current flowing through twenty k point one ampere. So I we found. Right from that we can find V is equal to I into R 0.1 into 20 into 10 power 3. So it is 2 kilo volt V. Once we find V and I, what is P? P is equal to V into I. V is 2 into 10 power 3. I is 0.1. So 0.2 kilowatts simple problem. I hope you understand uh, both these problems. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. I will clarify. Thank you.